Well, Nick Bond is standing by live now and can't wait to chime in on this one. Hello, Nick. Hi, Connie. How are you? I'm fine. Listen, the ringtone business is ringing up huge profits these days. Just how big an enterprise is it? How does $3 billion sound to you, Connie? Oh, that sounds like a lot of billions. Yeah, it's pretty huge. It's 10% of the global music market. So you can imagine a few years ago, ringtones didn't even exist. Now they have 10% of the global music market, and it's the fastest segment of growth in the global music market. And the pricing is kind of out of whack, because if you want to buy a CD in a store, it's about 20 bucks. You can buy a single track on iTunes for 99 cents. But if you want a ringtone, which is only maybe about 15 to 20 seconds of a song, you actually have to pay $3.50 for it. And you know, the average Gen Y, Gen Y is, uh, of course, individuals between 12 and 26 years old, they're paying $3.50 for these ringtones. And some of them have five, six, even seven ringtones on their phones, you know, one for their girlfriend, one for their boyfriend, one for their boss. So it's getting quite popular. Where are these kids getting the money, Nick? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what's the most outrageous leading edge trend you've either seen coming from a technology or a consumer driven point of view when it comes to cell phones and ringtones, etc.? Okay. I got two crazy trends uh, okay. on the horizon. The first one has to do with GPS, of course. And two thirds of all mobile cell phone calls ask the question, where are you? So, to solve that problem, what a lot of manufacturers are doing is they're building GPS into their cell phones. We know the BlackBerry has it. And some of the other uh, main cell phone companies. And what you do is you release that information to the other person on the other line. So let's say it's my wife calling or my mother calling. I will release my location on the GPS to that other person. So all they have to do is look on the cell phone and say, oh, I see where Nick is, so I don't have to ask him. In case you're in a crowded mall and you want to hunt each other down. And the second trend, and this is a really crazy one, and it's the hottest trend in Asia right now, it's the virtual mobile girlfriend. For 100 bucks oh, a no. month, you can have a girlfriend on your cell phone. You you have to text message her every so often, tell her that you love her, you gotta buy her some gifts, or she'll dump you and go with so somebody else. As if in reality that's not enough. Finally, just very quickly, Nick, whether it's shut up or some obnoxious <laughs> sound, are we going to see some kind of ringtone rules or etiquette emerge in the workplace? Yes, etiquette's very real. So I got five sins of cell phone use. Number one, thou shalt not dial when driving. Number two, don't wear two or more devices on the belt. <laughs> Number three, never wear your earpiece when you're never on the phone. Number four, refrain from answering your cell phone so you can hear other people's cell phones. And the number one sin, Always differentiate yourself from thy neighbor's cell phone so we don't have to confuse you, okay? Oh, Connie, wait a second. I think I have a buzz coming. Okay, you oh, go. Oh, it's my wife. I gotta go. See you, Connie. You better go. All right. Thanks, Nick. <laughs>